Hello everyone, a little video here looking at Russia's Tor SAM system. So this video playing now is one of those little propaganda videos that Russia releases every now and again, showing Russian weapon systems hard at work, often destroying absolutely nothing. But at least they look quite impressive. This one though is worth a look because the firing positions of the Tor have been geolocated, and I figure they are worth checking out so we can see where these Tors are operating and what areas they are covering. Now, these are designed to be mobile SAM systems, so these aren't permanent firing positions as they tend to move around. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if Russia's cunning plan to cover the tracks is to just move the launcher into the next field over next time, or somewhere else close to the original position. So I figure it's worth a look to see if that's the case. The geolocation work for this video is done by EJ Shahid on Twitter and has done an excellent job with it as always. So this video shows two Tor launchers as well as a Tor SAM system moving to its position. All three of these spots are geolocated, so it is possible the geolocation may also show us the route these launchers take to a firing position and a possible town or other location where they may be hidden when not operational. Now. I'm not sure if the tall launchers we see in the video are the same vehicle or different ones. So, two different videos showing two different vehicles cobbled together to make it look like it's one. So, let's check where this took place exactly. So, the first location I have for you is here. The tall is moving down this road as shown by the arrow. Now, unfortunately, we have no way of knowing whether the tall came originally from the road heading towards the right or the road heading towards the left. If it came from the left, then this tour system is likely hidden somewhere in Kremina town. If it came from the right, then that road coils around this mountain or hill and leads to a sort of large industrial site. This could be a hiding spot for a tour, but to me, it seems like it would be a pretty obvious one. You'd have to think a big industrial site or warehouse would be too obvious a place to hide a weapon system like this. So it could be hidden further up the road, hidden amongst the trees or somewhere in this direction where it's camouflaged a bit. The first launch point that we see is here. So this is evidence that this is just different clips edited together rather than one mission. It could be the same tall vehicle though. We can see this better zoomed out. So this tour is firing from a different position and direction than the first tour we saw was heading. The firing point is marked as FP1 for firing point 1. Now, remember what I said earlier in the video about how I wouldn't be surprised if Russia's cunning plan to cover the tracks is to move the tour SAM system one field over. Now, I hadn't checked the geolocation when I wrote that little comment in my little script. And would you, Adam and Eva, the cunning plan was to move the tall one field over. So moving a tall launcher to a different firing position after a mission or sort of rotating them around, smart move. It stops Ukraine from getting a lock on where these are and hitting the position with artillery or scouting it out to see when the tall arrives again. Moving it less than 150 meters away is less smart. Honestly, I was expecting the next firing position to be like a kilometre away or something, not right next door to the other one. Now seeing these firing positions shown on the map together has made me reconsider the first clip we saw of the tour moving. So, I said that was the tour heading to its firing position. What if that was a clip of it returning to its den, along the road like so, and what immediately jumps out to me here is this large complex that you can see highlighted in blue. Now, I've got to say, it isn't guaranteed that this is where the tour is hidden. I mean, it is a bit of an obvious hiding place. But this is Russia, who we just saw cunningly move the tour's firing position 150 metres away from another firing position. So it could be. Personally though, I think large complexes like this will be monitored by Ukraine a lot. So I think it more likely the tour hides itself in the trees along this road here, or something similar. So let's look at the tour itself. So the tour is a short range SAM system with a max range of 12 kilometers. So from its firing positions here, 
It can just about reach some of the front lines. However, it can't cover the front lines where most of the action is, indicated by arrows on deep states, and where Russia's main pushers in this region are. So this won't really be intended for intercepting helicopters and Ukrainian Su-25s, as they will be out of reach. Rather, this is likely providing air coverage against drones, spotter drones and potential offensive drones, as well as missile attacks targeting this region. An image of a tour is on screen now. It's an all-weather, low to medium altitude, short-range SAM system. Now, a Russian news agency, TASS, reported in February of this year that the tour SAM system has been fine-tuned in order to allow it to intercept high Mars rockets. Considering we have a grand total of, let me check, zero high Mars rockets confirmed as intercepted so far, I'd say the tour needs even more fine-tuning if it's expected to protect Russian assets from high Mars. There are quite a few tour SAM systems up on Oryx so far. 40 of all variants are listed. Russia has a lot of SAM systems available. But of the tour, they have 196 in service last year. So actually, a big chunk of the fleet has been destroyed so far. They have the tour in lower numbers compared to say the OSA, which they have 500 of, or the Strela 10, which they have over 600. So with 40 of these gone out of 196 operational, Russia may start to feel these tour losses soon. Not to mention, one, this is 40 confirmed losses on Oryx, the true number could be higher. And 2, 196 is the number that they have. It is possible that fewer than that are operational. It is quite common for armies to have X amount of weapon systems, but only a certain amount ready for combat operations. These are pretty decent systems, despite struggling to intercept HIMARS. They have racked up successes against aircraft and drones of different types, so they're pretty good. Now given that these are short range systems, they are pretty vulnerable, as they operate well within range of Ukraine's artillery systems, and of course, well within range of our old friend Mr. HIMARS. The one featuring on this video, definitely in range of both artillery and HIMARS, and with Russia showing its firing points for us and allowing EJ Shahid to geolocate it, Hopefully, Ukraine will be able to track down potential firing points for this tour and also its possible hiding spots. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Before we finish the video, here's a quick photo of Muffin the Rabbit. Not looking happy at all, wearing a new hat and bag. Although, she cheered up when I gave her a little rabbit treat afterwards. So, thanks for watching. And take care, everybody.